The first bit of news we're going to be talking about today is out of Detroit, Michigan. Mm. Armed neo-Nazi group disrupts Detroit pride with police escorts. The National Socialist Movement, NSM, disturbed the annual Motor City Pride Festival in Detroit, Michigan, with swastika flags, Nazi salutes, and other offensive items. Many pride goers were rightfully upset by the presence of the NSM, especially as they got police protection. Uh, someone was quoted as saying, why are you protecting them? These are literal Nazis. Um, and then how come they get protected when we're not, shouted another person. Our police should be protecting us. At the same time, a woman marching under a swastika flag used a megaphone to shout, you are all trash to people celebrating pride. Um, aside from that... Um, First of all, Ali, why did you say the N-word? YouTube is going to punish us now. You can't say that. <laughs> You said, you said, arm, I'm going to say it now because you said it already, arm neo-Nazi. Now YouTube is going to think we're, uh, you don't, okay, you should say arm neo-bad people group, okay? <laughs> because, yeah, YouTube is now, the algorithm is going to destroy our channel. So, there you go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. there, there's actually going to be a lot of words tonight that I'm going to have to uh, substitute, guys, for YouTube purposes. Right. Um, so forgive me when that time comes. I will let you know uh, what it is I'm talking about. But uh, this story in particular, that wasn't the only thing that they, that they did. I mean, they were actually being, in, in, my, in my opinion, not there to peacefully protest. They were ripping rainbow flags from protesters. Somebody even ripped an Israeli flag away from a protester and peed on it. Um, so this was, this was obviously outrageously, uh, kind of confrontational and, you know, a, a lot of people are upset that the police were there to protect, um, the neo bad people. <laughs> and, too late, too uh, <laughs> late. Just, just say it. I can just say it now. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, you know, they, they're upset that they were there to protect them, but I, I hope that everyone can understand that. Uh, the police, the police's job is there to protect people, yeah. um, not ideas. You know, I, I can guarantee you a lot of those police officers didn't agree with their stance, but they were just doing their job. Yeah, some of them even had like a, a gay flag heart symbols on while they were protecting the neo-Nazis. It's so weird. Like people like the, the people from the gay pride march were saying you're supposed to be protecting us, not them. What are you talking about? They're supposed to protect every fucking citizen. I'm going right. to I'm I'm gonna swear now because I don't, the algorithm is now screwed anyway, so I'm not going to hold back. But, like, they, they're citizens of the United States. They, they are, obviously, because they're going to be attacked, because they're a neo-Nazi group, they are the most likely to be attacked in a crowd surrounded by people that support LGBT rights, they're the most likely to be attacked there. You don't like them, I don't like them, we don't like them, it doesn't matter. The police's job is to protect citizens of the United States against harm. So that's why they're surrounding them, to protect them against harm. That's their job, that's what they're supposed to do. They're not going to support people that they like. They're not going to support people with ideas that they like. They're going to no, not support, they're not going to protect. I, was, I meant to say protect, not support. They're not meant to protect the people that they agree with they're m meant to protect people that are likely gonna get harmed and in this case it is the neo-nazis we don't like them but that's how it works that's how what the government is supposed to do right 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 absolutely um they're there to protect people not ideas so well police police are there too so uh you know they were they were just doing I'm, their job so i but i, I understand people's outrage over them showing no i don't understand i mean okay I, well no they, i mean they should you 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 they show up protesting you you protest them back that's how you do it but here's the thing you should see this if you if as an american this is this is something that you should brag about be like look we live in such a free country that the ideas, the people with the ideas that are the most anti-American, the ideas of people that we were in war with, and we defeated, and we crushed their government and their military and everything, people with those ideas, this is such a free country, that not only you get to protest, come and rally with, under the logo of the ideas of our enemies. Like, how many other countries are there like that you get to do that? Not only you get to come and express your ideas 
with that logo, with those ideas, will even use taxpayer money to protect you against physical harm while protecting the ideas that we stand against. That should, you shouldn't be upset about that. You should brag about that. You should be like, look at, look at countries like Iran, uh, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, even countries that, you know, that somewhat pretend to be secular. Israel, I mean, Israel depends, you know, relatively, relative to even some better, Malaysia, Indonesia, um, even India, okay? You could get arrested for bad ideas in India. Like, think, say, like, look at... Compared to those, they, they arrest you for things that, even Poland, fucking Poland, right? You get arrested for insulting Mother Mary, apparently, right? Like, mm-hmm. and you say, like, compare, look at how free our country is, where we have, where the government protects you for expressing yourself, even if the, uh, if, if you have ideas that is against everything this country stands for, ideas that represents enemies of United States, we will protect you expressing it, and we even spend taxpayer money to protect you from physical harm. You shouldn't be upset about that. That should be something you brag about to your country. Absolutely. Um, does anybody, like, what do the people in the live chat, are they agreeing with this or disagreeing with this? I don't know. Uh, people in the live chat, yeah, I feel like people are agreeing with us. Um, yeah. It's so, you know, it's so, un- they're so ungrateful to their police sometimes, I think, in the United States, right? These are people on your side. They're just doing their job. Stop, stop treating them like, you know, they are protect. They're, you know, you have no idea how much security and s- safety and peace m- a lot of people enjoy relative to some other countries in the United States. And they, you know, these people are risking them. So they're, 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 you know, they don't, do you, f- the fact that they, they, that, you know, some of the police, they have, um, you know, rainbow, you know, gay pride, you know, logos on their, on their uniform and they were there to support, uh, you know, gay pride and they were excited about this, but now they have to, you know, defend these idiots. You know, do you think they want to do that? You know, and sympathize with them. This is like, now they are, instead of enjoying the pride, they're protecting Nazis. Of course, they don't want to do that. They're doing that because that's their job. That's their duty. That's their job. That, Absolutely. Their day has been ruined. And now they're getting shit from the pride side, as like from the gay uh, the gay rights advocate sides as well. You know, so now, they, now, they're, they, now they're protecting Nazis, which has ruined their day. And now they're getting... For hate from the people that they came to show support for, you, it's be thankful, be grateful, be show some appreciation. Mark is saying, uh, but atheist republic does the U.S. have so many imprisoned though? Yeah, I mean uh, that's something that is bad about the United States. I'm not defending everything just because I'm appreciating freedom of expression in the United States. That doesn't mean I'm pro everything U.S. There's so many things great about the United States and there's so many things shitty about the United States and one of them is the percentage of you know the percentage of people um, that are in prison compared to the total population is one is, is it the the highest one in the world or one of the highest in the world i don't know uh at least at least in the first world countries i think i think if you just look at total numbers china is the highest one per capita i think it's the united states i might be wrong about that uh godless heathen is saying get stuck in in armin what i don't know what it is. uh so i'm saying there should be free speech without fear of violence and arrest however they should be prepared for people who will disagree with them as well yeah pro- they're protesting you protest back right at them like this is how you f- yeah um anyways let me see what people are saying uh julie is saying you are right spencer is saying yep uh, okay, Ali, did you want to add anything? I'm surprised that people are not hating in me for not saying I'm a Nazi apologist or something like that. Have you read the top comments? Oh, uh, no, I haven't. This, that's forget. Let's, let's look there. Okay, I yeah. don't tend to look at the top comments, but da- let's see what people are saying there. Okay, the top comment is, Dal is saying, Nazis suck ass. Uh, 
Uh, also, thank you to the officers putting themselves out there to protect citizens, even if you don't agree with some of the citizens. There you go. Oh, also, fly that rainbow high and proud, folks. I am offering virtual mom hugs to all of you. Oh, that was such a great response. I got the number. Okay, great. I'm, I'm a it's interesting. That is a top comment. So a lot of people in the community agree with that. Uh, mm. That's great. Uh, Good. Wow. I'm impressed. Sarah say my my grandpa is. Oh, okay. The second top comment is with 28 uh, likes is disagreeing with this. I think Sarah say my grandpa is rolling in his grave after he fought to keep the Nazis at bay, and here we are, a nation divided and support monsters. We already fought uh, the battlefield. Actually, no. Okay, I don't know who your grandpa is, Sarah, but with the war that they fought for was not a fought to defeat Nazis. Was it's a it was a war to defend freedom. Okay, uh, if you become a country where people can't express themselves, you're becoming more like the Nazis that you were defeating. Okay, um, you're, in fact, your grandpa shouldn't be rolling in his grave. He should be, uh, well, if he, grandpas don't usually roll in graves because they're dead. But it, metaphorically, he should be proud because uh, you know who wouldn't let the opposition have a rally without getting arrested? Nazis, okay? Yeah. So this is very non-Nazi-like. Non this is exactly the opposite of what Nazis would do. So this is exactly spitting in whatever Nazism stands for when you let people with opposing ideas have rallies and come out to express themselves freely because this is not what Nazis would allow, okay? So your grandpa shouldn't be ruling in his grave. He should be extremely proud of protecting... Actually, no, I'm not very nationalistic, but he should be happy with the results of protecting a country that um, that supports this level of freedom, uh, freedom of expression. One of the best. This is something. Again, I'm not. I'm not in for loving or hating a country outright. You could. You have to do one specific thing at a time. Instead of be like, U.S. is great or U.S. is bad. No. What is it about this country that is good and what is it about this country that is bad? When it comes to freedom of expression, United States, it's either the best country in the world or at least one of the best countries in the world. On that specific thing. I know there are other things that we could shit on the United States for, but on that thing, every other country should be jealous of the United States for its free speech rights. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.